how to meet you with loneliness? Well, loneliness is not all bad. So if you develop the idea in your head that loneliness is evil and that you need to get rid of it, that's a problem. Because to make anything, to think, to write, to come up with a business, to, to plan a podcast, you have to be alone, right? And most people can't stand that. They have to have their phone. They have to have some kind of attention from other people and validation. So you need to be alone. And that's not the same thing as loneliness. So there's a discrepancy. You know, if I'm alone with my thoughts and I'm trying to plan my next chapter, I'm not really feeling lonely, but I am alone. So there is a difference there. But loneliness, you know, you can feel you're in a group, you're in a crowd, you're with people in a restaurant, in a bar, but you're not connecting to them, right? So you can be lonely in a group, as you say, you can be lonely in a relationship. So it all has to do with the level of connection that you have to other people. And that level can be very thin and you can float through your whole life, always having these very thin, fragile relationships where nothing ever gets kind of deeper. Or you can try and go to the next level where you have deeper connections to people, deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, I don't want to sound like a, a new age Californian nut philosopher here. <laughs> I don't think it's because I'm hearing my own voice and it sounds pretty awful that way. But, um, but you know, uh, the reality is, is that we are a social animal, you know, very deeply ingrained in us. And so uh, one of the things I looked at when I was doing laws of human nature were studies of people who were really alone for long periods of time, like in prison, or the guy who was in Antarctica who was trapped by himself in a hut for six months, and you go insane. You start, you don't, you, you start losing a sense of reality. So we feel like we're human and we have a sense of reality by getting the eye contact with other people. And so if you're going through life locked in your phone and you're at in a table with other people and you're still like, you know, looking things up, et cetera, and checking your Instagram account, and you're not really dealing with people and, and looking at them and dealing with their physical bodily presence, then you're 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 gonna be lonely. You're making yourself lonely. And I don't think you can overcome it virtually. Because I'm a great believer that we are actually physical beings. I mean, it's no great secret, right? And we need contact. We need nonverbal behavior that we can judge people by. We need to see their looks in their eye. We need to see their body language to connect to them. So if you're afraid of that, if you're always kind of trying to retreat to that virtual relationship, you are in essence making yourself lonely and you're going to... So you have to develop the idea that your connection to people can go can be taken very superficially or you can go onto deeper levels. And that is what I basically wrote about in the laws of human nature, particularly chapter two, about transforming self-love into empathy and the various powers that you can have through empathy. But um, yeah, I agree with you. Loneliness, you know, particularly now is probably an epidemic.